Hello Abnormal Family, I've got another encounter for you, I hope y'all are going to enjoy this one. Man, the days are getting hotter for sure, uh, it was 92 here in Oklahoma today. So, I thought I would do this encounter for you guys, give you something to watch as you come home in the evening and be able to relax. So let's get into this one. The story takes place back in 2013. I was 16 years old. My grandfather had a small cattle farm in northeast Arkansas. He had around 70 to 100 cows at a time. Grandpa was a very rigid man. Never seen him scared or shed a tear, even at my grandmother's funeral. Our property is mainly pasture with some patches of thick woods and a creek that runs through the middle. November was my favorite time of the year, as the first weekend of November was the first gun hunt deer season. Me and my friend Jackson stayed over at my grandma's and grandpa's every year for the weekend so we could hunt. The first morning of the season started out as normal as the years that passed before. We woke up on grandpa's sectional at 4.30 a.m., still tired and groggy as we'd stayed up till about 2 a.m. pumped up for the next morning. We grabbed our guns and gear and headed out the door. It was a cold, stale morning, very quiet, and it was very calm. We took off down the driveway, walking toward the gate to the pasture where our hunting stand was. It was around a mile and a half walk. All we had to light our way was a couple of headlamps my grandpa had got us for Christmas the year before. We make it out to our hunting spot and get set up as we had done one hundreds of times. At this time, it's around 545 and we're waiting on the shooting light. The deer stand is set up along the pasture against the creek in the woods. Deer would often walk out from the creek into the pasture in front of us. Being bored and a restless 16 year olds, we both start playing Flappy Bird. As we're sitting here waiting in daylight, we hear some leaves start rustling. My friend whispers to me, they're moving early this morning. We shut our phones off and we let our eyes get adjusted to the dark again. That's when I caught something on the edge of the creek slowly walking out. At this point, I was just waiting for the deer to walk out and start grazing at the pasture in front of us. Out of nowhere, this deer let out a small growl or a howl. We froze solid. We've heard coyotes and bobcats, but this was different. We stared at the animal that was against the tree line. It was still dead. My friend whispers to me, That's not a deer, man. What the hell is that? I said, I'm not sure, man. I think it may be just a big stray dog or something, but it, it sounds sick. As we're staring at this unknown animal in the dark, my friend drops his phone onto the base of the deer strand, and this animal stands up on its hind legs. My friend absolutely freaked out and ripped out his headlamp and pointed it at this animal. There standing in the spot we were staring at stood this canine-like creature to the best that I could describe it, it looked like a big German Shepherd standing up bipedal. This thing had to be seven foot tall as it towered over the old fence against the property line. This thing stood there for maybe three to four seconds before dropping back to its all fours and darting back into the woods trying to get our eyes off of it. I looked at Jackson and said, let's get the F out of here. We ran back to the house as fast as we could. When we got to the house, my grandpa was sitting on the couch watching RFD TV and drinking coffee as he always did. He said, you boys are back early. Give up early already? We proceeded to tell him everything that happened and he kind of laughed at us and said, you boys got a wild imagination. We played in the woods when I was a kid and the scariest thing we saw was each other. Terrible, normal grandpa joke. 
Finally, we calmed down and tried to talk about what we had seen with each other. That's when Grandpa's old house phone rang. It was my dad who always checks cows first thing in the morning. I don't know what my dad said to him on the phone, but my grandpa stood up with the blankest face and ran to his bedroom and grabbed his old SKS rifle he kept out to shoot the coyotes and other pests that came back in front of their house and told me and Jackson, stay here and watch TV. I'll get right back to you. Me and Jackson just stared at each other. We sat around the kitchen table for around two hours till my grandpa came back into the house followed by my dad. Both of their faces looked like they had seen a ghost or something. Dad tells me that me and Jackson weren't allowed to hunt the rest of the weekend and that he needed to call his mom to come get him as soon as she could. I asked my dad and grandpa what was going on and my grandpa said, The door to the barn is open and the twelve calves that were in there are ripped apart and are parts of them hanging from the top of the rafters and even parts of them and some were missing. My grandpa called the local sheriff and reported it. I remember standing in front of the barn with the three cops there. Grandpa wouldn't let me go in and look as if it was an interested 16 year old would want to. Everyone seemed so clueless and frightened. After the police left, my dad and grandpa cleaned out the barn and disposed of the carcasses. The rest of the Saturday went on as normal as it could, I guess. That night at supper, grandpa asked me, Son, when you said you saw that animal this morning, were you pulling my leg? I said, no, Grandpa, I swear on everything. He sat there with a blank face. We finished supper, and we headed to bed. I fell asleep watching George Lopez on the TV and woke up around 7 the next morning to our neighbor knocking at the door. Turns out he had some cows ripped apart in his pasture last night and wanted to get rid of whatever it was that was doing it. They called Fish and Game, and they came out, and they did an investigation and looked around and said, We'll get it handled. We're pretty sure it's a bear that traveled too far south, as we have no bears in our area that we know of. I remember going home from my grandpa's house with all of this running through my head, trying to figure out what I had seen and everything that had happened. A few days went by and nothing out of the ordinary happened. My grandpa wouldn't talk to me hardly about it or any of it, so I'm not exactly sure what had happened after all of that. I know that a bunch of game wardens were in the woods for a lot of nights spotlighting and shooting, and I do know that all of that stuff that was happening did stop. Now as a grown man, I want to know what I saw. I'm not sure what I saw, but I would like somewhere to start. Can anybody give me any ideas? Well, I would say you saw the upright canine that everybody's been seeing that they call the dog man. Um, from the sounds of the, the massacre inside of the barn, I would say that there was more than one. And they were probably probably passing through since you hadn't seen them before and uh they took some meat with them is what it sounds like uh you're pretty lucky probably it didn't get you out of your stand and your lights probably what saved you is they do not like light which i need to do some more looking into that about the light but they don't like light and that's probably what saved you uh thank you for sharing your encounter i'm glad that everything is calm now I would say that the game wardens either killed them all, ran them out, or, you know, chased them away. But that would be my, my thoughts on it. And again, thank you so much for sharing your encounter. And until next time, guys, keep your head on a swivel. Don't be something's dinner. And remember, when you're in the woods, there is always something watching you.